Hello everyone, how's it going? It is Flies I and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be discussing um how big or major companies scam you. So this is not focused on like McDonald's or anything, it's actually focused on companies that do trade in such as GameStop or like car dealerships or whatever. So um let's get so the average company makes a lot. So for example, GameStop makes a lot because it's where people get games, it's the main place. So the average consumer would go to GameStop rather than Walmart or anything because one, GameStop has exclusive and everything. They basically make themselves look good. But when you go to trade in, it's horrible. So see, a while ago I had a broken DS or whatever. Not really broken. It was just like the part that opens had a little crack in it and it was weird and stuff. But you can see like the gold and stuff inside, but that's not the point. So we go take it there. Now the DS itself costed a lot of money. Costed more than they gave it. So how much they gave to us for it was about $10, they gave me $15 to $10, they did not give me a lot for it, but they sold it for more. So what they do is they charge, like, like for example, if I were to trade in an Xbox One, right now it'd be for about $175 for my research. So basically saying, they'll give you a less amount than they'll sell it, so they'll sell what you have for way more than you actually gave them. Same thing with like car dealerships, like if you have a car. And let's say it's like or we got it for like eight thousand dollars or something i don't know they'll offer about like half of that and then they'll they'll scam you they'll offer like half or less than that actually and sell it for way more than it actually is worth so for example GameStop. now there's this guy who um apparently got scammed out of an xbox i'll talk about that later so Games now. I got an Xbox. Oh, that shook. I got an Xbox 360 game a while ago called Dishonored. It was $15. Now, when you trade in old Xbox 360 games, such as, um, let's see, like, I'm just gonna say, for example, like WWE or something like that, right? They only give you 15 to a dollar for it, but they sell it for more so they can get more profit off of it. And they keep, continue to do this, and that's how the cycle goes the games out. You trade in stuff, they sell it for more than it, more than you got it for, and they make more profit off of it so they can get more games and brand new stuff. Now, this actually happened with some other guy. What happened was he traded in an Xbox 360, they gave $50 and he had GTA 4. Gave him like a few, a couple of cents for that and NBA for a dollar. So as you can see, um, companies like GameStop and stuff averagely will scam you when it comes to trade-ins. Maybe not all the time, but like, so let's say, okay, the average Xbox One is like about $300 and everything. So what I was saying before is it's $175, am I correct? So how much the value depreciates? So the value depreciates a lot. You can instantly turn it back in even if you don't want it, unless you have like a receipt or something. But if you just trade it in, just try to trade it in, it will completely give you like $175, even though you paid $200 more about, or probably less, I don't know, I'm not going to do the math. Basically $200 more dollars and they'll sell it for way more than it actually is worth. So as you can see, big companies scam me a lot when it comes to trade ins and maybe not all of them, but most of them. So the value depreciates on items really quickly. Like as soon as you buy them, they could depreciate instantaneously. So um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was just saying, I just got bored. I don't know why I'm making this type of video instead of a gameplay. I, I just wanted to, but um, I might post the gameplay after this. That's not the point, but I hope you guys learned something for this, and I hope you enjoyed. If you do, make sure to give a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.